You know, I was about to do a good thing, and then I thought to myself, maybe you're not sure how to do it. As you can see here, we are on an Extra Life fundraising page. Specifically, this is the page for the Elder Heroes team leader, that Grizz dude. And as you can also see, we are, he is rather, just shy of hitting his next milestone, which will unlock a 5k run. And he was boasting on Twitter how close he is and that his local hospital is actually doing a fun run. So it'd be perfect timing for this. Regardless of who you're donating to for Extra Life, you're gonna to come to their page, it's gonna have some information about them, what hospital that they're playing for, and you'll see all these little dots, which are their different milestones. These are goals they're gonna reward their community with as they reach closer and closer to their final goal of whatever denomination they've chosen to raise this year. But the big one I wanna draw people's attention to was the incentive side. As we can see here, Matt has a few different ones available. How incentives work is that you pick one of these for the dollar value. Some of them have limits. As we can see, there's one left of this, one left of that. So only one more person can select that incentive. Or you can just go ahead and click the donate button at the top. There's one in lower down too. It'll bring up this little pop-up for you. From this donation tab, we can see that we can donate once monthly. We can choose a variety of options that are pre-picked out. We can choose what uh, currency we're donating in. Now, if you're going to be coming over to my stream here this Saturday and participating in donations for dramatic readings, as an example, you want to click this add a message portion here and fill it in for me to read it. There's also the additional option to cover the servicing fees. If you don't choose this option, it'll just be taken out of the total value of your donation. And then click the donate button, and there you have it. If you choose from the incentives list, let's say this $50 one, it'll come up a little bit differently. We have our incentive, we have the option to change it right here. The rest of the page remains the same, but it specifies which incentive you've selected. Some incentives will have additional requirements needing to be filled, um, your address and stuff, if there's a physical object being shipped out to you, that kind of thing. But nonetheless, this is generically how it'll look. There you have it, guys. I hope you found this a little bit helpful, or perhaps it even works as an incentive to encourage you to go check out someone's Extra Life page today and support a children's hospital. Be kind, be well, be safe.